Hey guys, welcome back to the series, last time, we figured out a location for our game and gather the necessary materials to start making our map. This may be hard if you're a beginner at making this. So, I'll recommend to practice before you can actually start building the maps like the one recently I made. Before we get on to the second part, I want to address that people are commenting in some of my videos, asking me where this part is going to come out. I told you guys at the end of the first one, I said. Part 2 will release very soon, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'll try my best to finish it as soon as possible. So please, be patient with me as I can continue working on this series. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Our first process is to make sure if every satellite image is aligned and perfect before we make it. Let's look for misalignments. If you found one, just scale it until it's perfectly aligned with the other ones. It's kind of mandatory to do this because you'll mess up if you aren't careful enough. Also, most of the video is going to be a time lapse of me building a map. Which is what you're doing right now, so enjoy the process. Alright we've aligned every image in the game. Now let's start making the map. Let's start by building the tracks first. Use the plugged in Archimedes to help you build it. It may require you to do some editing with the switches in the track, so use it at your own risk. Once you've finished building the tracks, start building the roads. Remove the references first because it's unnecessary, you could keep it if you want. Remove the wedges if the roads in your area have a flat surface or grass, if not, then just leave it there. Use the same plugin from before, so it can save your time. I recommend using Google Maps for this part.
Once you've done with the roads, make the buildings. You may need gap fill plugged in to help on this one. Same as in the last one, use Google Maps in this part. Before I forget, here's a good tip for you, if you want to be organized, go to workspace, click on the plus sign and click on folder, then rename to buildings, crossings, etc. Then you put the stuff inside of the folder. After you finished making the buildings, finish off the unfinished or empty areas that you have, like grass or rivers for example. This will be the last step for part 2.
After a few months process, the map is finally finished, yours should be finished after the same time period. Here's a quick look of the map. Anyways, I hope you enjoy part 2 of this series. It took me a while to make, so like this video to support it. Next time, we'll be able to add crossings and the critical part, trains. To learn more about the progress of the next few parts, head to the community tab of my channel to be informed about it. Also, subscribe to this channel so you can be notified when the next one is released, the next part will come out whatever it is done, so be patient with me. Anyways, that's all for now, see you next time.